So we are it now exactly the wrong live. Time. Right, it happened right at the shutdown. Right. <laughs> so yeah, we I saw your guys' stuff there. We so. were so excited. Don't you go there? We go there all the time. We're you do? There. Oh, well, it's we're closer. There. Oh, you go to JP's, didn't you? Well, I go there just because they know me there. Oh. We do business with like our F, all our FFL transfers for these rifle giveaways. We've done through them. Oh really? Really? Yeah. So, I mean, we still like I still pay for them, but it's just good because they don't treat me like another range. Like, I hate Gat. <laughs> I mean, they sell they sell they sell our coffee well like that. I know, I know. They've been good to us. They allowed they allowed us to come to the to the, the first manufacturer yeah. show. Well, it was kind of a challenge to get there, but we got there and it's been a We're not live right now. Yeah, we are. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 Give me a sec. It is what it is. It is coffee and bullshit. Right. So. so, it's live. It's too late, but the recording. It's going to be in three, two, one. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll edit that part out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Right, live is live. We're it's live right now? Yeah, we're live. We've been live. Oh, yeah. Demi, could you go over there and just lock the door, please? Yeah. Awesome. So. Welcome to another episode of Coffee and Bullshit. Coffee? Doesn't matter. So. <laughs> it's a really great start to the live yeah. broadcast. Make sure you share. <laughs> yeah. Comment. Like and share. Yeah. Like and share, comment. <laughs> yeah. Spread the word. Gun barrel coffee. Oh, somebody should be reading off the comments. Yeah. Oh, can you do that? I don't know. Yeah, I can hold it up. So. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about yeah. reading comments, but yeah, I guess we could take yeah. live comments. And yeah. anybody who's watching, I guess uh, we're live. Yeah. So are you. So. We all yeah. have our yeah. coffee cups in front of us. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you guys were here last week, you know us three, but we have two amazing new guests. So, who are you guys and what are you guys about? So, my name's Omar. This is... Demi. We work for a company called Alpha Outpost. Uh, our office is in St. Charles, so we're also local. We're like five minutes from... Five, ten minutes yeah, from five, you guys. Minutes. Um, we do outdoor gear. But we're not here to talk about us, so... No, we're here to do a little bit of everything. Yeah. I mean, inquiring minds want to know. Yeah. All right, so there's 11 people watching us right now. Ooh, hey, awesome. nice. that was better than last week. We had zero. Yeah. Really? Well, we didn't have it on Facebook. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's why yeah. we had it zero. So, how about them gasoline prices? Yeah. You know what? They're increasing again, yeah, so that kind of sucks. Up. Yeah. I was really happy with it being low because I just got my license, so it was like perfect. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was uh, sixteen. Oh but, man! Yeah, we need we need one like, to run the run the uh, social media. Yeah. yeah, but I got my license like four or five months ago, and so having all the gas be like one seventy a gallon was perfect. Yeah. So, but you saw when gas one seventy a gallon so on the market, even yeah. for uh, sweet crude, is they were basically having to pay you twenty thousand dollars to take their oil yeah. on a, on any uh, option. Because they ran out of places to store it. Yeah. So it's kind of a crazy turnout from the time I started driving back, you know, nineteen ninety something. Gas was a buck oh five. Then it went up to four dollars with the with the crunch. But and the thing is always you never you're never gonna see it come back down, right? To come back down below two dollars a gallon is is incredible to me. Mm -hmm. I wish see, I wish I could go buy a storage and yeah. sell it again when it comes down to four dollars. Right. <laughs> but see, that's why I think it's all a conspiracy. Because everyone's like, "Oh, the world's running out of oil and stuff." But like, if we we're all really running out of oil really fast, I feel like it would be more expensive. Well, what's interesting is like when they're paying you to take oil, our government always has a, a stockpile of oil, right? Yeah. Usually, five years ago it was so, supposedly we had twenty or twenty-five um, years of oil stockpiled. So. Why are we just taking all this cheap oil now, yeah. taking it all, storing it, and having the stockpiles that we need? You have something from Alpha Outpost? Yes, we have something from Alpha Outpost. Uh, I'll let them uh, explain their, Ooh, yeah. their stuff here. Oh, I don't know if they can Sorry, see it. I'm I'm so, this is our Cup of Joe box. This, this came out January. January. We teamed up with uh, Gum Barrel to send coffee to our subscribers. Comes with a portable camping stove, a silicone drip cup so it's collapsible you can just put a coffee filter in it uh, awesome coffee a piezo igniter to start your stove what else do i have in here a tumbler cup and a camping kettle um 
So we do this every month. We do a, like a theme subscription. Uh, each box has a certain name. So this one was Cup of Joe, and we focused it around coffee. Um, all the products were actually come, I don't want to take all the credit, but come from like my brain. So and we just <laughs> we'll take all the credit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then I actually write all the top card information. There's like information on how to use your stuff, a description of each product. Um, these aren't, these are just regular beans. So I wrote about how to grind your beans without using any type of like mechanical equipment. Yeah, so that's cool. So that that's a little bit of what we do. We have a, we do knives, fishing stuff, anything that involves camping. You you can find it at our store, alfaopost.com. You've got so it all. Do you, to, do you have to sign up for a long term subscription? Can you do one at a time? How's it work? I'll let Demi so explain that. So you can do either one. So you can sign up for the subscription, where it's five bucks uh, for your first box, and then monthly it's forty dollars. Or you can just do a past box if you don't want any commitment. Um, and you can just purchase it. It's going to be a little bit more, but you don't have to sign up. Um, this one is actually going to be going up on our website soon. soon. Yeah, actually. So you guys can check it out and get some gun barrel coffee in there. Um, but yeah, so you can do both if you want. It's cheaper to have a membership, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So that's the nice thing about it for sure. So Jay Colavita said, almost time for resupply. Love your coffee and the fact that you give back to those who serve. Oh, Jay. thank you, Jay. Well, thank you for your support, Jay. Recognize you, so appreciate all the long-term support. If you guys can't hear us, uh, just let us know in the comments, or if you guys have any questions, yeah. you can let us know. Yeah. This is coffee and bullshit? Coffee right. and bullshit. Coffee, coffee and, and bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> so yeah. let the topics begin, or give us a topic to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I thought it was pretty interesting. I saw um, the protests are starting all around here now. Yeah. And Jeez. more support than what I thought we would see out there. You know, it's, it's it's always like, oh, there's gonna be a few think crazy people out there. If that's what you're thinking, um, there's been big support. I think people are getting tired of being stuck mm -hmm. in their home. Yeah. So how much of it is real that this COVID is really not that much of a threat? How much of it is just people are sick of being stuck in their houses? Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. <sighs> I think that there definitely is a point to be concerned about just from having family that's first responders and how they deal with it every day. But I think that there's also, some of it's blown out of proportion, but it's just not economically sustainable to stay in a state of quarantine, where it's almost like whether or not it's dangerous is they worth all of the other impact. So, so like, now Google and Facebook just announced they're going to keep their people in home, or work from home, till 2021. So big companies can get away yeah. with that, right? Internet-based companies can get away with yeah. that. It's the small businesses like us, yeah. like Alpha yeah. Outpost, who are the ones suffering because of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then the people that support us, they're suffering too. So, yeah. you know, it's time to get back to work. The sick that are sick or immune yeah. deficiencies or whatever it yeah. is, you know, Let's keep, them, some keep how, them covered and safe. And like how bad was it with all the SBA and the PPP loans? Yeah. The no. large, large public companies stole that money yeah. from the small companies. I mean, we filed, we filed an application almost immediately. Um, we got no word back at all, so we refiled again last week, and we finally got a word back that said um, applications are being handled in the order they were received. So we don't know what order our application was received in. We have no, no idea when it's coming. So if a lot of businesses are facing that, too, uh, for a lot of people who... Luckily, personally, my full-time job, I've been lucky to stay working. But uh, a lot of people who didn't get to work, now the CARES Act ends in June. So yeah. the extra 600 bucks a week they're getting now is going to be gone. Yeah. So th that's when the, I think the real recession starts is sometime later this summer. Oh, it yeah. doesn't open back up. Yeah. For sure. So we're live on the top? On the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any more comments to answer or questions? Um, well, I want to know if they can hear us because that one doesn't have a mic, right? No, it doesn't have a mic, just what's yeah. on there right now. What is? I mean, they can hear us. Let, us. let me know. Is that an iPhone? We're just going to this one. So that's not an iPhone. Oh. No, it's not an iPhone. Oh. It's actually an Android, so. <laughs> Come on, Let's talk about that. We'll next oh, topic. Jesus. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's, that's the next civil war. Right. Yeah. Android, Android versus, versus iPhone? Yeah. Just because my sound's better on there. Okay. Well, there's 23 people watching right now. Yes. Thank so. you all for joining us. Probably because it's on Android. Yeah, I don't know how to set this up where it's closer. 
Well, know? just set up where it's at. And, yeah. You know, I had a good view. Now they probably get a view of... Uh, oh, this Jessica Gray said, we can hear you. Oh, hey. good. Oh, awesome. Thanks, awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks, Jessica. Oh, gosh. Uh, we didn't break the camera yet, so we're good. Um, <laughs> all right. Boy, it's kind of weird trying to see it on there. And yeah. It, I know, yeah, right? So I'm just trying to like, yeah, watch it. So if anybody out there has got any topics for us, they want to shoot at us. Well, don't shoot at us, but send to us. Uh, we're more than happy to answer yeah. them. So who's that handsome guy with the... With the beard, Frank. I don't want to butcher this last name. It's probably Italian. I'll let Sal the beard. that. Brian? He's got the beard. That's I just, I, it must be you. Oh. I, think it's, I, think it's one, I think it's one of Sal's relatives. <laughs> it could be, there's yeah. plants out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm somewhat of a handsome devil. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, well, thank you, Frank. Um, not going to go any further than that. <laughs> I agree with Jay. Yeah. I don't like iPhones either. So now I think it's, oh. I think it's interesting now I saw today too that um, <laughs> more, more of the White House staff now is getting affected with COVID. Yeah. yeah the, uh, I forget, like personal assistant, right? Yeah. 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 Personal valet. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, one of the press secretaries now too, they said has it. Wow. So I think it's interesting. I, th I was talking to my wife about a month ago. I said, you're never going to see President Trump come on TV with a mask on during this. Even if it makes sense, because I think that's what causes panic, mm -hmm. right? It's almost admitting defeat when the president comes out. If he's wearing a mask, that creates some of the mass hysteria. Well, this is worse than we thought it yeah. was, right? If you can come on without a mask, say, hey, this is what happens when you control it. I think it you're gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna see a change where you're gonna have to be. Now that it's reached the White House, right? They're gonna have to be wearing masks. And I think it's gonna yeah. be a big change to the sentiment of how serious people are gonna take this when we start yeah. seeing people on TV wearing masks constantly. Well, yeah. you didn't see our governor Prisker wearing a mask when he does his, he you know. Yeah, I think I think the only reason he pushed is because he likes to play golf, so he pushed it off. So yeah. now weekends he can keep the golf course empty for himself to go play. Yeah, and that's an interesting thing. It's like all the really rich country clubs, by like Glen Allen, Lombard, Wheaton, they all reopened as like essential now mm -hmm. with whatever the new thing is. And I don't know. I never thought of a country club being as essential as other places, but. I guess when the rich people make the policies. Oh, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't get that. Like, when we, when was it, they had, when Pritzker announced what was opening up, it was like state parks. I was excited. I was like, we're going to Star Rock this weekend. Right, we're going. Yeah. They're still closed. Mm -hmm. but for the rest of the month, there's only like a certain amount of like state parks that actually opened up and are willing to let people in. Mm -hmm. I thought that was. But not enough social distancing in state yeah. parks? Well, that's what I'm like saying. Like, yeah. You could go to Home Depot or Walmart or Target and, and be shoulder to shoulder like, practically like this. Yeah. yeah, but you can't go to a state park where you actually have more room to social distance. But yeah. I don't, whatever. Well, just like Wisconsin announced that if you go up there to stay in the cabin, you got to be quarantined for fourteen days yeah. before going out. I mean, isn't that what you do in your cabin? What grinds my yeah. gears? <laughs> what grinds my gears? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what this, yeah. this, that's what this show should be talking. Like, what grinds <laughs> my <laughs> gears? <laughs> But uh, then we take from the family I think, guy. I think it's what happens though when you when I think our policy to this was to be reactionary, right? There was no policy in place. There was no real plan for this. Mm -hmm. So when you're reactionary, you tend to overreact, and it's chaotic. Yeah. Right? Every place has a different policy. Every state has a different policy. There's no uniformity. People just come here talking. Like, do I wear a mask here? Do I not wear a mask here? Where can yeah. I go? Yeah. No, nobody really knows what the bottom line is or what the the, the median law is. So it's kind of just take it as you go. Everybody sets their own policy. Well, the yeah. one thing that was universal throughout the whole thing was toilet paper. So everybody buying toilet paper. Yeah. Is, yeah. I still haven't figured. I still haven't figured out why that was a rush. I, don't I, don't know why I, still, I still don't get it. I and guess like if quarantine goes full quarantine and you can't leave your house, you don't want to be without it. But also, oh, there's ways of getting. But, but had nobody ever hoarded, right? right. So <laughs> think yeah, about had, had nobody yeah. hoarded, it would never it never became an issue. Yeah. yeah. Right. If, if people had just the whole time maintained like normal usage. It wouldn't be an issue. Right. I'm waiting for the for the meat for people to start hoarding yeah. meat. That's it's, already, it's already happening. Yeah. So look at the prices. My God, like the yeah. worst meat now is super expensive. And then Purdue said they were going to shut down production because of processing. Mm -hmm. And then Trump said you can't shut down. 
You can't you can't break the food supply chain like that. Yeah. Yeah. But you're gonna watch chicken prices go through, and, and the less chicken we have, the more beef's gonna go up. Yeah. I guess it's good to maybe contact your local butcher and see if you can get a cow for a good price or something. Yeah. 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 yeah that's true. <laughs> I don't think we felt the effects of what the economic recession is yet. No. no. I think no. I think the wave is building. You don't realize how bad it's going to be yeah. come towards end of summer, August, September, yeah. October. Yeah. Which is going to hit in different ways than a lot of the past recessions because it's not like a housing bubble or something like that where it's like, it's this weird thing that people don't fully understand that's causing weird things people don't fully understand to happen. Mm-hmm. And then just as everyone copes with it day by day, it's like, yeah, we don't know how bad it's going to be or how companies are going to react. I think it's very interesting how much it's going to change what the world looks like when it's over. Yeah. The more people are shopping online now, it's going to make that yeah. a big thing. Companies are having to change to online. Oh, yeah. yeah. My company never allowed work from home now, work from home. So Yeah, exactly. I tried to push for that policy two years ago, and they refused yeah. it. Then it got forced on them. I tried pushing that policy here, but <laughs> I keep getting fired every time I leave this place. Right. Yeah. Uh, Pete Soto's. Said toilet paper because politicians are full of crap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm gonna make that a uh, one of those word blurbs for Facebook. Yeah. Awesome. This is a question for you guys from Randall. Ah, just gave him some coffee the other day. Uh, team up with Energy City, a local brewery here. Um, hey, whenever they're ready, I mean, we're always ready. If you want to do a Coffee, beer. They used, they used to be next door to us. They moved, uh, expanded, and grew, yeah. so they make great beer. That even goes for any other beer who wants a beer company or a beer brewery, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Coffee stouts are awesome. Coffee stouts, yeah. Stouts. They have great coffee for it. Yeah. Still. That'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. You can get awake and drunk at the same time. It's mm-hmm. awesome. Like a four loco. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll do four loco too. I mean, we'll uh, four, four loco, co- oh, God. four, four <laughs> loco coffee. Yeah. Never had good memories of four locos. No, nope. I picked my wife off off the floor many times from four locos, <laughs> and off the pier, and yep. dragged her upstairs. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's see if any any more questions from anybody else. Nope. No. Nope. Well, how about those killer hornets? Oh, yeah. Another oh, thing from China, huge. right? Isn't it? Or <laughs> Japan? I don't know where they're yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait until Trump addresses that. I want to Got see the China one. hornets. Oh, they're the huge. biggest, baddest yeah. hornets. Thumb. Like the size of a thumb, man. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. It'll keep her satisfied. I mean, uh... <laughs> Jay said, buy American and support local businesses to keep the economy churning. Yeah. Damn right. For sure. Damn skippy. I agree. Websites. Websites. You give out your websites. Uh, www.gumbarrelcoffee.com. And we are just www.alphaoutpost.com. Or Super. Facebook, you can find us too. Yep. Gumbarrel Coffee. Yep. Instagram. Yep. I'm sure you guys are Alpha Outpost on Facebook, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Alpha Outpost, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Tinder. Tinder. Oh, no. <laughs> Farmers only. Farmers only. <laughs> <you know. laughs> Got it all. <laughs> Christian mingle. <laughs> Christian unmingled. Exactly. Exactly. Well, 21 people watching. We need topics, guys, so if you're watching, give us a topic to talk about. Let those comments roll through. <laughs> yeah. In the meantime. <clears throat> so, where'd you get those shirts at? Something new? Yeah. yeah. So this is for this month's subscribers. They're they're gonna get a T-shirt on the front says Alpha Outpost, on the back says Homeland Security. Um, well, on the bottom says Homeland Security. On the back it says This is my safe space. Yeah. Did you guys see it? No. No, I didn't see it. <laughs> nice. Nice. I like it. Can Can I see it on the? Uh, let's see. The live's like. 15 seconds behind, but from what I can tell, they should be able to see it. Okay. But yeah, so that's coming out this <clears throat> yeah, month. Yeah, they can see it. Yeah. 
So with the monthly subscribers, you do have the option of getting a shirt every once in a while. So this is the second time I think that we've done this. Last time we did a hoodie. So yeah, we try to switch it up a bit. How many off the alpha shirts do you have? I mean, I have none. I don't have any. I have either. zero. I'll have to look and see. I mean, we yeah. sell this stuff here in our shop, but I don't have any Alpha Alpha shirts. <laughs> yeah. no. we, we, do, you have, yeah. do you have Gumbrel shirts? Yeah, I actually. Yes, we bought one. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. have any Alpha Alpha shirts. I have to buy one off you guys. <laughs> Weird. It's, it's oh, been, uh, Jessica Gray said, I see many small small mom and pop shops join in support of each other and their communities to keep some cash flow going. Is charitable service group sale slash community boxes the way to go? So we, we did do a box sale with Batavia Main Street here. They did a thing that they uh, they put together I think four or five different boxes. Yeah. With items from a bunch of business around different the area. Businesses, yeah. Mm. The one we we're in, they did a great job. They sold out twenty five of them almost instantly. Twenty six. Twenty six instantly. Less than twenty four hours. <clears throat> wow. Uh, yeah. Obviously, anything we can do to especially collaborate with the other business around here. Uh, we know even our neighbors suffering, so just can't have people in the store. It makes it very tough trying to do virtual. Um, even one of our great stores down in Cole City, it's our, our best retailer, she's been our best retailer, uh, she's really struggling. Mm -hmm. So do what you can, support your local, get out there, take a look, look on our website, you'll see all the people who sell a gum barrel coffee or live close, please go go help them out and buy from them. Mm -hmm. We only sell through uh, really independent retailers right now, so they need as much help as possible. If anybody's interested, you can always contact us, contact Brian and we can get to the store near you, uh, something independent, little mom pop places. Yep. One thing that I notice actually, I've been on Amazon a lot, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but Amazon actually has a thing where it's like you can shop local businesses, like, and you can pick where you want to shop from. So it's like Midwest, or you can choose a state. So I thought that was really oh, cool. And instead of just having those big retailers on there, they've got those small businesses on there as well, which I'm trying to look through some. Some of them to see. I'll have to look into that. I didn't see that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, like I said, I've been on it a lot. So <laughs> it's worth it. Oh, hi, Kelly. We uh, miss you, Kelly. You might have missed it. Did you guys mention gardening and other sustainable things you can do if the food situation gets worse? Back, back to Victory Gardens. <coughs> That's what they did during the war. Go out and support yeah, a Victory yeah, Garden. Yeah. Yeah. You can still go to your local stores. You can still pick up. Seeds, plants, planting soil, everything. It's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. Can you use yeah. coffee to grow plants? You can use coffee as a grounds. type of grounds for fertilizing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. For fertilizer. Yeah. And some acidic plants, like plants that like more acidic water, you can just water with coffee. Mm -hmm. And in Bativa, you can get your own chickens. So if you like meat and stuff, you can get your own chickens if you like eggs. That's awesome. But don't that's kill really your chickens, because that's illegal. But <laughs> it is? You cannot, like, kill... Your own, you can't slaughter your own chickens on private property, in, at least Batavia. I think in Geneva you can, though. Oh, Geneva, we're not allowed to have chickens. Yeah. Or some of them, they can. Elbert, you should. I wouldn't mind a couple of chickens. Elbert, you can. I don't know. Just take it in the garage and. Be great. Uh, if you have a neighbor, you can get a rooster. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, everybody should have a rooster I, in their house. Uh, I've stayed at a place where there's a rooster, and yeah. no kidding, they're the worst alarm clock in the world. They're consistent, <laughs> yeah. there is no snooze button. As soon as yeah. the sun comes up, it just goes on. You will not believe how loud a rooster is if you have not heard one live. It's but they are mighty tasty. My mom's old neighbor, so at my mom's house in Addison, she's unincorporated Addison, there's a house that is in front of her, and the old people that used to live there had, like, all of these chickens, like, a huge, like, just chicken coop and, like, barns full of chickens, so... My sisters and I used to always go on there and steal the chicks when we were younger. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. You're, but yeah, so I mean, we so were you were all picking up chicks when you were younger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You're also admitting yeah. to a crime. Right. Oh just, yeah. Just admitting okay. to a crime live. Yeah, right. but you know, it's over. They've done plenty past of worse things anyway, so, so it's okay. Oh yeah, it's way past yeah. that. How many chicks before it's a felony? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Rogers asked, "Is Illinois still under lockdown? If it's not, are people starting to go out? Love the coffee, by the way." So it's not really, it's not really lockdown. It's supposed to be shelter in place, right? But mm -hmm. we're supposedly till the 30th right now yeah. of May. But supposedly. people are out and about, especially, I don't know where you're at, Nick, but in nice weather, people have been cooped yeah. up here. We have nine months of winter, so yeah. the Just first day it was over 60 degrees. The world outside was absolutely yeah. insanely packed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I had a hard time finding parking in downtown Batavia <laughs> today. Yeah. Yeah, traffic's not gotten any easier yeah. in the last two months. It's been a little less. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot less people going to work, so. Right, yeah. I sure guess rush hours more like spread out. Well, that's the thing yeah. is, when I, even when I drive, like I come down to the shop on Saturday, 
right? Everybody supposed to be off doing stuff. Traffic's just as bad. So I wonder, if even during the week, if nobody's going to work, why are there still so many cars on the road? No, not, yeah, I've seen an increase in traffic. Oh, yeah. Not everybody's going to the store that, for essential yeah, yeah. groceries. So, yeah. I mean, me with my family, when we're bored on weekends, we just go take drives now because there's nothing else to do. So that's the mm-hmm. toughest part. Is, that's what I've been trying to do, is just go for a drive. <laughs> I, have, I have two kids who have been locked in the house every day, all day, for two months, like, there's not much place to go to spend energy. Dog yeah. park is open. You can go to the dog yeah. park. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Yeah. Do the dogs have to social distance? Don't even have a dog, but you have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. we, just, we just look at other people's yeah. dogs. Like, we, we pretend like our dog's lost. Right. We whistle for the whole time. We had 300 people looking for our invisible dog last week. Yeah, I don't blame people if they get out for a drive. Yeah. No, you yeah. have to. Yeah. yeah, and that's like... Sometimes it's nice just to get yeah. out. Mm-hmm. I like try and go to a forest preserve like every other day or something like that. Yeah. Which is weird, because a lot of the ones that, like, I've never seen another car at, besides me, I'm starting to see, like, three or four or five people show up. They're, like, those ones are way far out of nowhere. Yeah. But yeah. Well, there, there's a park next to me that it's packed every night when I drive by. Yeah. There's, the park's not big enough to where people couldn't be in there without walking shoulder to shoulder. Mm-hmm. The parking lot's overcrowded. Mm-hmm. I've seen a ton of people riding bicycles. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. Tons, like, yeah. The bike, if you own a freaking bike shop, <laughs> now's the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, seriously. Yeah, the bike path's right next to our shop, and it's like last yeah. Saturday was nice. It was absolutely insane. But can the bike shops be open? I know, Are they considered an essential business? Prairie Pass Cycles over here is still open yep, doing like curbside stuff, but they all spoked up when they actually went out of business, I think. Oh, they so did? Something like that. I was just going past the other day. I love that shop. It's awesome. If it is still open, forget them. Always go to the all spoked up. Yeah, there's, a, there's a bicycle shop by our place, and yeah. I, I'm pretty sure they're like yeah. Selling bicycles, but not like inside the store. It was more yeah. like, mm-hmm. yes, you order. Yeah, yeah. what's uh, what's the pick up for your bicycle? Yeah. yeah, what's the one by Geneva? No race, no recycler. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I never pay attention. But people, I mean, most see people, people come to shop on bikes. Yeah, most yeah. people come to shop. I mean, people walk down the path. We had people in today who walked from Geneva. Another couple walked from St. Charles. So. Yeah, one dude bike from Wheaton yeah. here. Yeah, it's like a oh, wow. fifteen mile bike road. I think. Wow. I think that was just. People are so bored now, they're like, who cares, let's go out all day for a yeah. walk. Right. I wonder, like, how much healthier this is actually making people, or, like, how many people after this will still be going outside and walking around and, like, be as active. The yeah. fitness trend's gone way up. It, yeah. was, it was tough to buy, I tried to buy uh, dumbbells online. Yeah. My wife bought, for Amazon, they were back-ordered. Oh. Yeah. What? Like, when, it, when, is, when in history have dumbbells ever been back-ordered? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> until, until this time, right? The dumbbell yeah. manufacturer in the world, like, Oh my gosh, this is the best we've ever seen. Yeah. They're probably yeah. wishing for more viruses. Yeah, or all the home workout equipment like doubled in price after a month of this. Yeah, yeah. That's That's insane. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can work out from home. You, there's plenty of stuff yeah. to do outside. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you have treadmills, which is pretty much walking indoors. You yeah. can do it outside or run inside or run outside. Yeah. Of course, that stationary bikes. Get a yeah. real bike and stationary your ass out there. Yeah. yeah. That's where I. If you're gonna get like one piece of equipment, I think like a kettlebell or a pull-up bar for your door, it's like twenty bucks. But I've been doing some kettlebell stuff just because all the gyms are closed. But. Yep. So Nick said suburbs of Nashville, Tennessee, we're just now reopening everything except for the major cities. Parks are opening. The only thing that's been restricted are ice rinks. <laughs> <laughs> people are out and about, but definitely skittish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, people are skittish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see that. Yep. I think it's gonna because nobody knows what their what the real deal is. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. right. Yeah. Well, the thing I thought was scary is up by me in Kennedy County, um, the police fought with the hospital that they now have to be informed of everybody that has has tested positive for Corona. So the hospital did a great job of fighting back, saying no, that's a violation of HIPAA law and it's a violation right. of privacy. Uh, the police fought back, and the judge stood behind it that now the police have to be notified. What? Wow. So what? So think about that's almost it's a little bit of. Nazi right. fascism, right? That yeah. now we're gonna label you. So now are you gonna wear a red A when you go out in the world so everybody knows like that person's Maybe infected, that person's infected, right? Uh, so, right. Right. so now you're infected. <laughs> that's just crazy. Right? That's weird. The corona emblem. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of it's crazy to think that that could ever happen when we. The police know who you are. Yeah. Right. That's insane. Right. So if it ever came that we want to round people up for quarantine, now they can come to your house and round you up for quarantine. Well, now I think I uh, said if you catch the corona and you want to join the military, you have to have a waiver now. You can't. You, they're not. They're, yeah. No, you're not allowed to join now. No one can ever join. Well, until have once a, you've been affected, yeah. infected, because now they're afraid. They don't know what the antibodies are yet. Mm-hmm. They don't yeah. know if you're more susceptible oh, in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. 
So the amount of shots that we got in the military, uh, you, you would think you would be immune to it. You know? <laughs> but but uh, taking a devastating toll on the Vietnam veterans, yeah. of their yeah. age and health, you right. know. Yeah. Right, how many morbidities did uh, Agent Orange cause? Oh, seriously. Right? Yeah. Took, yeah. took my father from every every condition you come up with, from heart to kidneys to liver to Bone, cancer. Uh, right, so they're basically uh, the right way to target them. Right, anybody who served, anybody who served, even the guys who come back from prison, right? You deal with some stuff, some stuff you came back with that makes yeah. you more susceptible, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure we'll yeah, find out in the future that yeah, some of the longer term effects of like you're over. subject to burns when I pee. <laughs> 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 that's a whole other subject. That's a whole other subject <laughs> with, with red specs. <laughs> <laughs> We watched uh, what, the Sicario yesterday. Yeah, we oh, Sicario yeah. Last night. We've seen it a couple of times, but it's like, hey, how you doing? He's like, well, it burns when I pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah, if people who are joining right now, they're probably like, what are they talking about? <laughs> That's a good scene in Sicario where uh, when they pull up and they first face him down. A Navy SEAL's going through and doing uh, how realistic are the movies. He's like, it's like, this is a decent movie. Yes, but if you look at this one scene here, right, the bolt is back on the AR rifle. Where you shooting right, but the bolts, the bolts yeah. completely, the bolts completely open. He's like, so it makes the whole rest of the movie hard to watch. He's like, just that little detail. <laughs> he's like, my wife won't watch a movie with me because like I have to pick all this stuff out. He's like, right. he's like, I want to watch. He's like, I want to enjoy, it, but I, I notice all this stuff. I can't help but notice it. You know, so it like, ruins everything. <laughs> that one thing. But do you do that? I sometimes, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. 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 There was a start yelling at the TV. Yeah. We're doing it wrong. That's. It's not a gig. Turn it off. We watched what? Well, we started. I finished it. She fell asleep. We watched the movie called Den of Thieves. I don't know if you guys ever seen it. It has 50 no. Cent. But the beginning, oh, they were just robbing an armored truck, an empty one. But it, they obviously use it throughout the movie. But I was like, yo, these guys are doing everything the right way. If you think why you rob, rob an armored truck. <laughs> Yeah, Basically that's why the we started watching how to do it. it. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I was impressed. So I stayed up and watched the whole thing. Yeah. Oh. It was good from what I saw. Yeah, it, was, I it, was, it, was, it was a nice action movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, um, did you ever watch that movie I recommended to you last Death week? Death of Stalin? Death of Stalin? Yes. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, that's yeah. on Netflix, right? Yeah. 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 Nice. It was good because they, they made it funny. And uh, I don't know if it was trying to tell the real story, if it was trying to just be a parody of it, of what happened. Mm-hmm. Um, but in the end, the end they kind of told the truth about what happened after when he died. So um, what's interesting about that is you know, Stalin put a lot of people in jail. They had lists they were going after, pulling people out. And when they needed doctors for Stalin, when he's like, <laughs> he had a brain hemorrhage, they're like, well, we've killed all the good doctors. There's only left is all the bad doctors. Oh, no. And so they're like, they're, everybody was afraid to call any doctor because they don't want to be the one responsible for calling the bad doctor. Right. But they, so they're killing. But then at the end, when he died, people from all over the country wanted to come to attend his funeral. Mm-hmm. Right? So although he imprisoned all these people, so I was reading a thing yesterday about What's the sentiment currently about in Stalin history. in history? Oh. And they're well, said now... Well, you can you hear me? I said hi. <laughs> most of the younger generation now, 80% of people look at Stalin as a hero. Hmm. Although it was almost like the Nazi regime locking people up, taking yeah. people down, wow. because it's through fol- folklore that he's the one who beat the Nazis. And it was a great win for Russia to beat the Nazis back then. So well, this guy imprisoned people, tortured people for no reason, had firing lines, killing people in mass. Folklore makes him a hero. So Nick said, what are Sal and Brian's favorite GBC roasts? Oh, so this is tough. So my normal every day is our Moab, the high caffeine. Mm-hmm. It's got a good spicy caramel flavor. It becomes my addiction. Usually this cup is full of that. Um, but we just came out with Devil Dog, our dark roast espresso, which is super rich, a lot of flavor. And then our new one, and it's kind of a secret one coming out, is our Double Dark. That's been my new addiction. Yeah, the Double Dark is amazing. Yeah, I, like I would say for me, you know, every day I come here, I just make some uh, little rocket man in the machine, the little espresso machine yeah, there. That was good. So I'll make, yeah, that's what I usually drink. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm wide awake now. <laughs> what do you guys think? Somebody's in trouble. So, he... I, I, I don't like caffeine. I can't, well, I, I don't... Not that I don't like it. I can't handle it. Yeah. I get jittery. Yeah. So actually, I do like the CBD... The yeah, Corman the and the Medic blends, because yeah. that stuff just calms me down. And I don't know if this one this is really good. The R&R. The, the decaf. R&R. The, de- yeah. 
Anything that's decaf, I'm like, yes. Yeah. It's like the O'Doul's of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, they have that Heineken um, non-alcoholic, mm-hmm. oh. and you know they introduced it to the United States. But when I was in Kuwait and Iraq in two thousand three, they had that there already. And I remember we we're buying, you know, I don't know as much as we could to drink something that felt like beer right. while we were there. <laughs> Budweiser was horrible, if I remember correctly, but the yeah. Heineken one was really good. Budweiser, uh, yeah. Right. Unless you go to Korea, then that's OB and that's or Oriental Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, I'll pretty much drink any coffee. I like it all. What's been your favorite one, Jack? I think my favorite is definitely I love the rum one just because I've always loved the rum and bourbon. <laughs> non alcoholic stuff. Yeah, Ooh, I gotta try but that one. I like it because I'm a big fan of some of like the more high end lighter roasts where it's a more complex flavor kind of. When you guys have the best dark medium roast I've had out of anyone ever, even bags that are like twice as much. So, got their dark and medium roasts. But I think the rum one is just the closest to what I usually go for. And it's the most like experience, if you want like a coffee experience. Okay. But I really like the Air Force one, which is what I had when I first met you guys a while ago. Was Space Force? Space Force, that's yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Space yeah. Force. Well, it's not Air Force. Okay? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a Space Force. own division now. It's yeah. Space Force. I, I they got their own commercial recruiting. I apologize. <laughs> the Space Force, I think, is just kind of like a dependable one. The Air know. Force one is the Moab. Yeah. Space mm-hmm. Force has Space Force. Yeah. The Marines have the Double Dog. Uh, who is for the Army? Uh, coming out with the Navy one soon. Don't worry, people. We're coming out with that one. Not going to say it's a Double Dark, but... <laughs> um, then we got one for the police officers. Uh, uh, Can you see it back there? Cuff them, Joe. And then we also mm-hmm. have the engine for. The engine's really good, too. Yeah, engine for the, the, yeah. the firefighters. Dry tone. If you yeah. like to put a little nip in your coffee, those Sumatras yeah. are awesome for it. They're yeah. good and dry, yeah. and then the alcohol offsets it perfect. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm falling behind on comments. Oh, uh, well. It's taking forever to load. <clears throat> Alright, so... This is the Marine Corps. I mean, um... <laughs> Lindy said, Can we create a disaster rescue roast for the volunteers who rescued during hurricanes? Hashtag true rescue roast. And hashtag cat five rescue roast. Lindy, Bobby, and Mike. Cool. I like the idea. We gotta come up with we gotta come up with. It takes a little bit of time to develop roasts, so... Yeah. About to test it, go through it. I mean, most of our roasts here took us about a year and a half, two years of development before we even launched. To just, try to figure it out. Yeah, just tasting all different types of <clears throat> yeah. beans and roasting all different beans and just, you know, because we were doing this while we are working full time, so. Right. And I wish we could just flip the switch and make a new roast. Yes, we'd love to do it, but we, if we're going to put our coffee, it's got to be good. Especially mm-hmm. if we're going to if we're gonna do, represent those folks, then it has to be really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Sure. You can't, we don't make bad coffees to represent people or just to play off their name, so it's got to be good coffee, too. Do you guys have a Marine Corps? Yeah, yeah, yeah double dog. dog. Really? Yeah. Oh. Is that... Blended with crayons? Yeah, well, it comes with it comes with a set of crayons. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a free set inside at the bottom of the, the bottom yeah. of the bag, like a cereal box. I know what we're yeah. getting. <laughs> right. There's a maze in the back that you can like, go, go through. How to open this bag? And it's like there's no exit. <laughs> you just press it in and you're trying to get out. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. I don't think anybody's ever done that of having like a little prize in a bag of coffee. Like, <laughs> there's a hundred dollar bill in the bag of, at the bottom of every bag of our coffee. Yeah. You can find it. Yeah. yeah but that's like, uh, Every bag. Yeah. So order right now because everyone has a $100 yeah, bill. Like, like a little <laughs> plastic <laughs> rifle or something. Yeah, if you guys like threw cool. one of those things there in you your go. bag. I can't wait till we get sued for that too. Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone like, I swallowed <laughs> the rifle after ingesting Lysol <laughs> to try and cure COVID. I can't believe you guys told me to eat the rifle. Oh that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it tasted like coffee. <laughs> I can't do anything now. Somebody mentioned something might work. Then people go oh, and ingest yeah. it and then they want to sue you for it. No more common sense is not allowed in this country. The FDA has not approved it, but gun barrel coffee might help you with COVID. Hey, not saying it's a cure, not saying it's not a cure, but it helps. It might help, <laughs> it might help. It might help you. Yeah, there's a chance. It could help you with your relationship. I can't wait to see the divorce rate after all this is done. <laughs> <laughs> right? I love my wife and kids, but like after like week three, I got to my look at my wife. I'm like, are you following me around the house? I'm upstairs, you're there. I'm downstairs, you're there. <laughs> like, I love spending time with them. Like, at first I was like, this is awesome. I get to spend more time with my wife and kids working from home. This is great. Mm-hmm. Like, now it's getting to the point where, like, 
stop following me around the house. Just leave me alone for like 10 minutes. I have no space. Right. So I know like the divorce right after all this is over, people around like, yeah. I can't stand you. I can't believe you got, I can't, after this, they like put so much pressure on you. Right. Yeah. FOMO. Yeah, FOMO, fear of missing out. Yeah. Right. I'm following you everywhere. Well, what, what, has, what has a couple or a family ever spent this much time in like the pressure cooker, right? The longer it goes on, the more pressure mm -hmm. it's going to be. Worst weather than making some money after this. Oh, yeah. Or counselors. Buy one, get one free. free. <laughs> <laughs> well, they said, they said the domestic violence rate yeah. soared through your roof. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you finally put people on. You can't, can't get away from each other anymore. You, have, you can't yeah. leave. You're stuck. Because it forces, like, people that just confront family <clears throat> issues and stuff that they were able to avoid. And then half the time it doesn't well, really work. Yeah, I mean, because, mm -hmm. I mean, the wives or, you know, wives, girlfriends, whatever you know, have kids with. They're with the children like mine is, and, you know, she's with them all day. They don't go to school. They're, you know, I come home and just try to do the best I can, getting yelled at. And, you know. yeah. yeah, I give props to all the parents out there right yeah. now with all their kids yeah, at home. two cats, and uh, that's been rough. They're shadows. <laughs> <laughs> <That's just kidding. laughs> they follow us everywhere. They literally yeah. do. <laughs> Nothing's quiet. Get to see my wife. My wife's becomes an at-home school teacher with my kids online. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it started out, they were working in the same room. About week two, they had to be separated completely because they were fighting like school, like two kids in school. Mm -hmm. My wife was more, the, became went from the teacher to the dean. She was meeting out punishments to each one of them for not, for oh, not yeah. doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, I've never heard anybody repeat instructions to somebody more than my wife telling my 13-year-old repeatedly how to do the simplest things. And so you do get a, gain a new appreciation for teachers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, everybody's kid is awesome. Like, th that's not my kid. I see my kids now and realize if I was their teacher in school, there'd be problems. I probably would have been fired already because yeah. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't put up with it. The third time I heard my wife repeat something, I would, that would be enough for me. Right. So her patience is awesome. And, I, you know, God bless all our teachers who put up with our kids every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also a huge shout-out to the teachers who, during COVID, are still teaching. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. From I being in the whole e-schooling thing, that's... They had, like, no instruction originally on how to do it. They were just told, like, tomorrow we're starting e-learning. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. And, like, yep. figure Nothing it out. Nothing watching teachers try to figure out how to use yeah. Zoom. Yeah. And even my wife trying to figure out how to get my kids on Zoom. <laughs> oh, no. I was yeah. like, I use Zoom almost on a regular basis in my work. But it's like, when I first yeah. start using and getting my kids to, like, understand how to be in front of a camera. Oh, yeah. Like, they get how to get on. Like, they had to show my wife, like, how to get on. They got that part. Yeah. But getting my 8-year-old to stay in front of the camera for class as part of her teaching is impossible feat. Yeah. She's walking back here. She's got the laptop. She's picking it up and walking around in circles. Right. I can't teach you like, hey, can you just stop for a sec? They doesn't get it, right? It's, it's interesting. <laughs> I'm just thinking about back in the day when my mom was teaching us our schoolwork. If she needed to help us, it never ended well. We'd all be crying at the end. So How many melons does he have? <laughs> right? she's she's at the end, problems. She's screaming yeah. at all of us. Yeah, that was. <gasps> That was rough for all of us. And then I, have, I had to relearn math to help my daughter with her, the Common Core. Whoever came up with that it's system, it's the dumbest it's system I've ever oh, seen in the yeah. world. To do a simple addition problem, taking to get rid of it ten minutes longer than just doing regular addition that I yeah. learned yeah. to bring up with. It's you know, simple and easy. Mm -hmm. Twelve plus twelve is twenty-four. Simple. You don't have to sit there and no, you break out fives, yeah. ones, tens. <laughs> yeah. I would not make it. That's where the whole, like, Nordic country school system is so super cool. Like, I did a project on it a couple years ago. It's awesome. It's like they do four-hour school days instead of six, but then, and they have no homework. Like, teachers aren't allowed to assign homework. And students can pick their classes from, like, years before we do to, like, work around the things I like to do. And most teachers, like, take polls of their classes of, like, how much math do you guys want to do depending on what you want to do with your life. We're like, we're like the original right. pioneers because you and I only went to school for like four hours a day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We picked and choose what classes we went to <laughs> if we wanted to go. <laughs> if we wanted to go. So I think we were like Nordic pioneers. We weren't bad yeah. students. We were Nordic pioneers of yeah. the educational yeah. system. Yeah. We picked and choose when we'd go to the parking lot, when we'd sneak out, right. <laughs> who would call each other out sick, <laughs> sick. Yeah. Uh, go yeah. over to Dave's house. Yeah. It was go, yeah. yeah. yeah we, Man, we, we were ahead we of our time. We were pioneers. We were pioneers. <laughs> I bet so if we were pioneers. To the modern high school yeah. system. And then there's this new version of homeschooling where, like, if you decide to, like, run a lemonade stand, you can count that as a math credit. What? Like, I mean, there's, like, students like Ben Greenfield. He's big in uh, the health and fitness industry. Like, his kids have a cooking podcast 
it accounts for their math credit because they do all the math of the accounting and everything, and it's like you can find weird ways to. I should have a PhD in math now because I work. I worked at trade shows every weekend from the time I was five on. Yeah. I sold fruit on the side of the street when I was five. Right. Yeah. Concrete. Everything. Oranges, bananas, avocados, grapefruit. Wow. That's what we did. We, we lost the business, so we started going down to Maps Street in the morning. We'd buy fruit. Then we'd drive home. My dad would drop me off on the side of the road and say, you sit here and sell fruit. So I'll go over this street over here. And we'd sit there and do that till the police came. <laughs> and the, cop, the cop would show up. I mean, at the time, Geneva was nothing. It was yeah. like in the middle of nowhere. So the cop would show up and be like, what are you doing out here? I'm like, I'm just waiting for my dad to get back. He had a, he had a the van broke down. We had a, he had a walk to go get gas. And the cop would be so mad. He's like, so he left you here alone? Yeah. Selling fruit. Right, selling fruit. <laughs> like selling fruit <laughs> without a permit. Time. And we do that We do that three days a week. And we'd see the same cop all the time. But uh, yeah. I think they just kind of got it and let us be. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's funny. Jason, common core is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who, I don't like to talk to the person in the and just have him explain to me how it makes sense. Yeah. Doesn't make the kids any smarter. Right. I had to relearn math so I could teach my daughter how to do her simple math. <laughs> it took me an hour to relearn what the hell Common Core was before I could help her with a simple problem. Yeah. It's, it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I actually like American test scores have gone down since Common Core. Yeah, I get it. I, yeah, I would see. Well, the funny thing is, all this all this great teaching, right? You stand in front of somebody and they, they can't make change or you can't yeah. walk into any retail establishment with somebody young and. I mean, my favorite thing used to be is like if the bill's twenty five oh six, right? You give twenty six oh three, and just to watch the pause look on their face, like, what? Yeah. And then I have to punch in the catch register to get it to make sense to them. Mm-hmm. Let's change. Yeah. Right. It, 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 it's not the instant like we used to. I right? hate when they do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that was you had to know it on the spot. Yeah. yeah. Or I used to work trade shows a lot too, and that was something that I'd watch like a thirty year old not be able to do. I was like. At Christmas time one year, I sold something that was eighty-five dollars. I had a lady stand there and count out cash to me, over and over and over and over and over again. I'm watching her count it out. She kept on counting out like three hundred and sixty dollars, three hundred sixty dollars. She just had an envelope of money from the bank. She got so frustrated, she just handed me the money. She goes here, and I had to count it back and like give her back the change. I she was ready to walk away without change. I'm like, you're gonna walk away with over one hundred eighty dollars. I'm like. How do you how do you survive alone if you can't right. do simple math like on the spot you do yeah. it every day? I let you throat punch them. <laughs> <laughs> and I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. I don't have advocate yeah. violence, but I'm this person here. If you work in retail or a cash register person, just like give a quick thumbs up. Yeah. Like I'm one of those. Although with us, like with our system, you type in what they gave you, and it automatically just tells you what to change. Yeah. Right, but yeah. so if if computers, I have it in my head, but if computers shut down tomorrow, retail would, mm-hmm. would be so in yeah. so much trouble. If computers shut down tomorrow, everything would be in so yeah. much trouble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're we're everything done. else would be going to shit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, 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 I think it's another episode, uh, the end of the episode for coffee and bullshit. So right. forty-seven minutes. Oh, dang. Nice. Nice. That's pretty that good. Oh, we got a thumbs up from, oh, awesome. from Nick awesome. Rogers. Thank nice. you guys for watching. Thanks, Thanks for your support. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks to Omar and Demi for coming out. Yeah. Thanks for having Outpost. us, you guys. It's great to meet you guys. Yeah, this is fun. We'll have them back again one day. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Whenever you guys we'll talk about you. guns or something next yeah. time. Yeah. 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 We'll bring our collection. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're signing off, so y'all have a good one. Be safe, Be safe. out there. Stay healthy. Drink more gun barrel coffee.